is Victoria Fashion and welcome back to my channel. I am introducing you one of my closest friend Haley here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to actually be doing a demo and a review on this one. I also brought her over here because she's very deep into the subculture too, but she is actually more She's the lighter version. She's more pink and she loves brighter colors than me and I tend to be more traditional. This palette actually reminded me of both of us. <laughs> okay, one, two, two three. <laughs> Look at how cute this color is too. And it's so pigmented. And Power Couple's not as dark either. I thought it was gonna be really dark, but it's not. Mm -mm. It blends in well with um, Heart of Gold and Sun Inspiration. I think I'm gonna add the Love Struck in the inner corner. Of my I'm gonna use the Devotion just to darken up the bottom. Because I feel like the Zoom is like too bright. Which one are you using? Devotion, the black one. Wow. I'm using Transpiration on my bottom one. Okay. This one. I keep going back to these three BFFs. Because those are more your colors. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I think I'm done with my. Yeah, me too. I just mm -hmm. need to put an eye on. I kind of wanted to use something for my um, inner corners. Mm -hmm. I'll probably just use this highlighter. I never realized how smooth this eyeliner is. Because I've been so faithful to the to the wet and wild one. Mm -hmm. This one's so smooth. Is that your first time trying that one? Uh huh. Yeah, because I use this one. Mmm. So like and I use it because it's cruelty free. Okay. They don't test it on animals, and it's um waterproof. And mm -hmm. It actually does last a long time. Oh really? Yeah. I'm gonna have to try this one. Yeah, it lasts all day. Like I wear that to the gym. Mm -hmm. It on. Oh yeah, it never runs out every uh -huh. time we go uh -huh. <laughs> go work out. Can I try it? Yeah. Okay. Me miro muerta, way. That's a good thing <laughs> for you. I know. <laughs> I'm so used to my big eyelashes. I don't really like using a hundreds anymore. Why? I like using a three hundred. I used to like the one on ones. Yeah, I, I, those are the ones I used to wear religiously. I want to try the, um, the Let's red try. one. Oh, soon? What is it called? Soon? Soon? Yeah. <gasps> Girl, it looks bomb. I know. Mm -hmm. These are so pigmented. I'm so in love with them. And Look at them. Dude, it looks I should, pretty on you. I should have probably put my bangs back. And I feel like now that you have black hair, your eyes Everything pop out more. Yeah. Your eyes pop out more. Yeah. I didn't know you watched the room. Yeah. Yeah. Remember we were playing it after the club? In the car? Oh no. Uh-huh. I was drunk. You know what I almost wanna do? Huh. Probably add um either darling or hmm. No. Oh, what about if I add soon and I put it on my lips to have that metallic it, look, mm. it almost looks like my uh -huh. metallic. How does it look? It looks nice? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. cute. Which one did you use? I used Swoon because it was red. Yeah, so. that's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I like it. I've never tried Hourglass lipstick. I love Hourglass. Is it like a liquid lipstick or is it? No, a... it's just a regular lipstick. So what did you think about this palette? I, I love the palette. I think it was really cute. I love most of the shades. I think they're pretty neutral and you can wear them every day. I like the details, I like the flowers, I like how it's pink, I like how it's just so light. Mm -hmm. And it's so like, when you open up, it opens up, it still looks like yeah, a heart. Yeah, it's still the shape of a heart. Yeah, the Too Faced packaging, it looks so sweet. Well, obviously, Too Faced is more like sweet and innocent and soft too. It's more kawaii. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's pink, it's, it screams Daiso, mm -hmm. Japanese, yeah, it does. kawaii. Um, it's, I feel like it It has more of an anime pastel. This one is more like if an old school god with it on a chola at the same time. I told you! Yeah, yeah. It does right? like chola, yeah. I told you! Yeah, like Kat Von D has that chola look to her, yeah. which is what attracts me to her so much. I mean, even the lettering is like pretty, it's old English mm -hmm. and it does look chola. One of the reasons why I do love this palette too is because the first thing I, sh I thought about about these 
shades is Morticia. Like it just screamed Morticia. The palette on Kat's side, it actually has uh, three mattes and three shimmers. And this is the cute part. It's like the shades. They're kind of like friendship or it, it reminds me about a lot of like friendships with her. Um, for example, the white matte shade is called Por Vida. And then this is a shimmer, uh, like kind of like a warm gray. Um, it's called Darling. And then uh, this is a, like a cool shade gray and it's yours. Uh, the black matte is called Devotion. And then this kind of neutral, more warm toned uh, color uh, is called Swoon. And then this one's uh, like a champagne color, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And it's called Love Struck. And it's actually pretty cute. Um, for this one, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. There's six shades. Um, BFF is more of a blending color, kind of mm -hmm. like a good color to just use it as a base and then use it to oh, transition. Your brow bone too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Transpiration is more of a penny color. I mean, if you just literally look at a penny, you're looking at the same color. Power Couple is brown with um, bits of like gold shimmer added to it. There's also Better Together, which is kind of a purple, grayish, blackish, all mixed together with some shimmer in it as well. Heart of Gold is not necessarily gold. It's a bit more, we said olive, huh? Yeah. Like olive. It has like a slight uh, green tone to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's a tiny bit gold. I mean, let's say that you were to wet your brush and like a, a, get the shadow and apply it to your eyelid. It's going to be a gold, but if you just use it like that by itself, it's more olive-ish than anything. Lovely, it's a really cute color. I mean, when you look at it, you see it and you're like, whoa, it's pink and pigmented. It's going to be so cute and I can't wait to wear it. But in reality, it's not that pigmented. It's a bit more... It's lighter. It's more of a talk. It doesn't really have much pigment to it, but I guess it could be used as a base color as well. Um, but overall, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I love... I pretty much love all the shades. Mm -hmm. But my least favorite one would be Lovely because it's not as pigmented. Like you see it here and you're like, oh my god, it's so bright and pink, but it's not. In all honesty, it's just a bit pale and I think it's just more of a base transitioning color. When I was trying to like test it out and try out this side myself, I don't know, fucking Lovely was just not as pigmented as I no, thought. No, it's mm -hmm. not. But everything else, it's cute. I personally will probably wear these colors for probably everyday wear or if I have to tone it down for either like mm -hmm. a family party or it's more like, an, yeah. like yeah like an everyday look like let's say you want to go to the store and I mean I guess this would be the right palette as for me I probably would wear this just to like go out and not mm -hmm. to like go to the store which is like, wear like a basic eyeliner for the store <laughs> mm -hmm. depending on what I feel like but I, I it's it's a cute palette it's a cute palette I mean if you buy it you're gonna use it it's a lovely yeah no i i like it too and that's it's if i want to go soft i'll go go for for this side these colors i pretty much wear already so i'm kind of glad that she um added a matte black color um in this palette because i mean let's face it she does wear a lot of black she mainly wears black it's rare when i go for like a black dark eye unless i'm going to like dust bunker or just macro or something mm -hmm. like that but um I probably just for everyday wear or maybe like daytime wear, I would probably just use Spoon, Love Struck, and Darling. But even for me, that's a bit too pale for me. I mean, it goes with you because you're like white as shit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and me, like, I like looking tan and like bronzing, and this wouldn't go with my cup. I actually use uh, this red shade on my lips, and I'm actually using her Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Most Far Too. And I put some uh, swoon on top of it, so it could have it could look like a metallic. It does. Yeah, it, it does looks huh? really cute. Yeah, it's shiny. It gives it more of that metallic feel. Yeah. And right now, metallic lips are in. So. Oh yeah. Even if you don't have metallic liquid lipsticks, yeah, you could just put literally put metallic a, shadow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and it, these. Yeah, and it just it looks just like it too, right? Yeah, I should have <laughs> put some on my lips. I don't It sure looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the names though. Yeah, and they go together. I mean, if you open this, you can kind of see cat side mm -hmm. on the palette, how with the names and how dark and Hispanic they are, which is 
what I admire about mm-hmm. her that she always keeps it Latino, Latina, Latina, you know, okay. true. For this one, I think the names are just so cute and kawaii. What I'm surprised about this palette, the name that it does not have for Kat Von D. If you're a big follower of Kat Von D and you've been following her for years, she has a pet name for everyone. She calls everyone babe. So I'm surprised she did not add this in her in her palette. Like she literally says, hi babe, like, you know, to everyone. That's always been her. I don't know if she says it now, but... I think she should, would have probably used it. I don't or maybe know. she's going to use it in the future. Maybe. And then I like how it's it's like a magnet. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's worth buying though? Yeah. No? I mean, I don't have it. When I saw it in the store, I'm like, okay, it's $65. I don't think I'm going to spend $65 on a lot of shadows that I think I have. But now that I'm playing with it, I don't. I know that I don't have them because they're so pigmented. It does come with a, a full-size tattoo liner with from Kat Von D and also the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, so that's pretty awesome. Which one do you like? Um, do you use? I like both. I mean, mm-hmm. this is my first time using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara because I usually use like the Hispanic ones, like the Mame mascara, mm-hmm. and the pink one, the apple one. Mm-hmm. But um, I think this is actually pretty cool. It's my first time using it. It's easy to use. I like the wand. But yeah, I think it's I think it's great. I mean, you get the whole thing for what sixty five bucks. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's, good deal. That's not. That's a great deal. Sixty five dollars. I mean, I'm not trying to sell the product because I haven't even bought it myself. But I think it's a steal because you get like what two, four, six, yeah, twelve shadows and then mm-hmm. eyeliner and mascara. Yeah. For sixty five dollars, it's not too bad. So I think I am gonna buy it. I think you should. It's like it looks so nice on you. The thank you. I yeah. don't know if you can see it with my bangs. I guess I can move them. Mm-hmm. But. It's just so pretty. Yeah, your your eyes pop a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it looks so cute on you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I think Cats has a bit more. I think each shadow has like 0.5 ounces and Too Faced has like 0.3 ounces. Mm-hmm. So this one has 0.2 ounces more on each shadow, on each shade. I wonder why that is. I mean, it could be because maybe they're a bit longer. And it's yeah. Just one of the things that I actually kind of don't like about this is that it doesn't have a mirror. Oh yeah. So like if you wanted to like take this with you, like for example how we were doing our makeup earlier, mm-hmm. it would have made it a lot easier if this had a mirror and you looked similar to what we were doing our makeup. But. Yeah. And the nice thing about the Better Together palette is that it's vegan and it's cruelty free. So thank you Jared and thank you Kat for like bring out your awesome not torturing and hurting cute little animals i know and cute little bunnies and doggies and kitties <laughs> it is kind of cute that they put like a kind of like a friendship letter this is her letter to uh jared few people in the world that i have been lucky enough to meet who make me feel like i belong jared is one of them dedicated to all of you in hopes that it inspires love, kindness, and compassion. Because together, we are truly better. Hugs and kiss- kisses, Kat Von D. Kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Hugs and kisses, Kat Von D. P.S. I love you, Jared. Oh, that's so cute. I know. The very first time I met Kat Von D, I knew I had a friend for life. She was incredibly approachable, sweet, funny, and smart, with an unexpected innocence that made me want to wrap my arms around her and protect her from the world. Oh, that's so sweet. We aren't competitors, but cheerleaders for each other, celebrating the other's successes and triumphs while offering each other a safe place to land when things get tough. This makes our friendship that much more unique and precious. I am happy to finally be able to share our love for each other and what we do with the world. I can't read this person, so I don't know what that says. What's his name? Uh, Jared. <laughs> Jared. Jared, yeah. <laughs> this palette totally reminded me of of us and it was so reminding me of you and that's why i brought her over here because we're so different but then like we're really good friends and that's what i i like about us like she has been an inspiration she always motivates me to go to the gym with her and then like just to try to be a better person you're a very positive human being oh, and they have you. a wonderful soul thank you and i'm i'm really saying that from the bottom of my heart i know you <laughs> are yeah so that's why I'm kind of I'm glad that they make this palette because it's like it's true you're better together so oh we yeah. are <laughs> that's so cute <laughs> well I think you're super cool too <laughs> I mean your style is rad like you're always crazy and you don't care what time it is it's like 11 a.m. and you step out with like your big ass hair and you're like, <laughs> which is pretty cool I mean I admire you for that because you're just 
darks, you mm -hmm. know, like straight up darks. <laughs> and I mean, I like to keep it a bit darks, but cute at the same time, mm -hmm. if that makes any sense. But you're a wonderful person and mm -hmm. those shades go with you and they go with your style and they go with your attitude. And I think that these shades go with me. I mean, they're just so us. At the end of the day, we're always going to be darks for vida. Darks. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter if we're on the opposite side, we're darks for vida. Latina darks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe on my channel if you would like to see more of this lovely woman here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys next time. Yes, let me know in the description. <laughs> if you would like to see more us and more of our adventures, let me know in the comment section. She was also in my Jazz Bunker video. We were all fucked up that day. And I was in Balls Deep too. Oh yeah, and Balls yeah, Deep. Sounds... Weird. <laughs> <laughs>